Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be simplifying coercion and type conversion in JavaScript. The values you use in JavaScript can be of different data types. There is number, string, boolean, object, and even lots more. Type conversion in JavaScript is a process where you convert a value from one type to another, and this can be done implicitly or explicitly. Implicit type conversion, also known as coercion, is a case where JavaScript automatically converts a value from one type to another. And this can happen when you are trying to perform some operation between different data types and literally they are not compatible but then JavaScript automatically converts one of them so that it can be compatible with the other and the operation can be completed. Explicit type conversion on the other hand which is also known as typecasting is a case where you the developer intentionally converts a data from one type to another. And to achieve this you can use data type constructors like number, string, and boolean. So let's jump straight to the code editor as I show you some examples. I'll start by explaining coercion, which like I said is implicit type conversion. This type of conversion happens when JavaScript automatically converts a value from one type to another. I'll be using some examples to show you what coercion is. Sometimes you try to do some operations, just like you can see in this example here, that is not literally possible. But because JavaScript is a weakly typed language, JavaScript automatically helps you to coerce a value from one type to another so that it can fit the operation you are trying to achieve. In this example here, we're trying to add a string and a number. Literally, that is not possible. But watch what JavaScript is going to do. If I come here and I run this file, you can see that JavaScript concatenates this value and this value together. How does it do that? It converts this to a string type from a number type and then it concatenates it and then you have this string here. We can confirm that this is a string by also checking the type of the sum variable. You can see this is in fact a string. So this is a very basic example of coercion. JavaScript converted 30 from a number to a string to fit the operation you are trying to achieve here. Now what if we use multiplication like this? Strings have nothing to do with the multiplication sign. Only numbers use the multiplication sign. So what JavaScript is going to do here is it's going to coerce this value from a string type to a number type. If I come here and I log this, you can see this is 600 so 20 becomes a number and then 20 times 30 becomes 600. What if we have another string here that cannot be coerced to a number? When you try to run this you get none because there is no exact number representation of this. So this is going to be the result. This is literally not possible and even after coercion it is also not possible. So you can think of coercion as JavaScript internally trying to help you by applying the right data type that should fit the context of the operation that you are trying to achieve. I can show you another example here. Let's say I have 50 plus true. Now here we don't have any string so JavaScript knows that you are not trying to achieve any concatenation but where else can you use the plus sign in numbers for adding numbers together? So we have a number here but here we have a boolean. So what is JavaScript going to do? It's going to coerce this boolean to the number equivalent and the number equivalent of true is 1. The number equivalent of false is 0 and any number that is 1 or more is true. So here I'm going to leave this as 50 plus true. If I come here and I log the sum, you can see we have 51 because true is becoming 1. If I have this as times and I change this to false, if I come here and I run notice, you can see this is 0 because false is coerced to the number equivalent, which is 0. Also, let's look at one more example. Let's say I have false plus true. The plus sign is used for numbers to add them together but here we have booleans. So what is JavaScript going to do? It's going to coerce these booleans to their number equivalent so that this plus operation can do its thing. If I come here and I log the sum, you can see the sum is 1 because false is 0 and true is 1. Let me show you another example where coercion happens. So here I have an if statement which checks this variable and if this variable is a true boolean, it's going to run this line but if it is a false boolean, this if statement is not going to run. If I come here and I run this file, you can see hello is logged and that's because this is true. But how is this true when this is actually a number? What JavaScript does is, in the context here, you are trying to fit a condition that returns a boolean, so JavaScript coerces this number type to a boolean type and since 20 is true in a boolean context this is going to be if 
true and then we have console.log hello if i change this to zero which in a boolean context is false if i run this you can see the if statement does not run because this is evaluated to false another way you can find this is let's say i do console.log and then i have the not operator and here i have value so what the not operator does in javascript is that it converts a truth value to a false value and it converts a false value to a truth value but here now it's supposed to convert this but then this is not a boolean this is a number so before this not operator is applied this will be converted to a boolean which is false and then using the not operator on false we're going to get true so if i run no test you can see this is true if i change this to one or any number that is not one if i come here and i run no test you can see that this line runs and also this is false because this value has been coerced to true from this number and then using the not operator makes it false so you can see how different operators causes coercion which is implicit type conversion to occur i'm going to show you one more example where coercion occurs in javascript in javascript we have the double and the triple equality operator the double is called the loose equality operator while the triple is called the strict equality operator when you use the loose equality operator in javascript and you're trying to compare values of different types javascript would attempt to coerce one of those value to fit the equality comparison here we have 20 which is a string and we have 20 here which is a number because of coercion one of this is going to be coerced to fit the other so it could be that the 20 is going to be coerced to fit this or the 20 as a string is going to be coerced to fit this number and this is going to return true which i'm going to show you in a bit also here we have zero which is a number and false which is a boolean but since we're using the lose equality operator this is going to be coerced to zero which is the number equivalent of a boolean if i come here and i run the test you can see both of them are true but if you use the strict equality operator coercion is not going to happen and javascript is going to do that equality check strictly and since these are different types you have false since these are different types you also have false it is generally recommended to avoid coercion because this can cause inconsistencies and unknown bugs in your application. When you mistakenly use values of different types for an operation, you should get an error and not some help from JavaScript. So how do you avoid coercion? First, you ensure you're always using the strict equality operator and not the double. And also you can use type checking tools like TypeScript that helps you to catch errors that are thrown when you are using different data types together. Going forward to the other type of type conversion, which is the explicit type conversion. Explicit type conversion is a case where you as a developer intentionally tries to convert a value from one type to another. And you can do this using constructors in JavaScript. I'll show you some examples. Here is an example. We have this 20, which is a string. Now, what if you want to convert this string to a number? Explicitly, you can use the number constructor and then you pass this 20 as the value. Come here and you run no test. You can see this is 20 range means that it is a number white means that it is a string you can do the same thing for strings here you can convert a number let's say i want to convert 100 to a string if i come here and i run the test you can see that the 100 is white which means it is a string you can also convert a boolean to a number so here i can use the number constructor and i can pass a boolean which is false if i come here and i run no test you can see that the number equivalent here is zero you can also come here and run a boolean and then pass a string this like this so if i come here and i i'll clear the console first if i run this you can see that a boolean of a hello is true but an empty string is going to be false you can also attempt to do a boolean of zero which is going to be false so if you want to explicitly convert a data from one type to another you can use constructors like this the number the string the boolean and then you pass the value that you want to pass now i'm going to show you one example that returns none so if i do console.log and then i pass a number and then i pass a string that cannot exactly be coerced if i run the test you can see the end result is none so using constructors like this you can explicitly convert data from one type to another there are cases where you may want to do explicit coercion let's say a data like this is coming from a backend as a string of 20 but you want to perform some calculations that are only valid on numbers then you may want to convert this to a number type before you try to perform some calculation so that you do not get none so there are cases where you perform explicit type conversion and there are cases javascript does implicit type conversion for you which is coercion and that should be generally avoided because 
because like i said this can cause inconsistencies in your application if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concepts i'll be simplifying in javascript